Good morning guys and thank you for joining me in my morning coffee chat. The thing that's on my mind this morning is how grateful I am for my executive assistant uh, Janice. So um, Janice started working with me about a year ago. She works on a 1099 and she works about 40 hours a month, sometimes a little bit more. And holy cow, I appreciate her so much and the work that she does. If you're struggling in your business, you're a solopreneur or you're an entrepreneur, <coughs> excuse me, allergies, with a couple of employees, and you're thinking, gosh, you know, they're focused on other things, I could so use some help with the work that I'm doing. I just can't recommend strongly enough that you find a way to do that. And there's a lot of different creative ways. So um, I'll talk a little bit about that and then I'll share with you how to identify the things that you really want your executive assistant pointed towards. Um, I think I mentioned uh, Janice is a 1099 employee and, <coughs> excuse me, allergies again. Uh, what that does is it helps you not have to do all the taxes and, uh, those types of forms and you know for for me I don't have her working full-time so it just seems like the right way to do it um, and you can structure it a couple different ways you know you negotiate the hourly rate with your employee um, uh, you can do a mix so a lower salary plus a bonus uh, for certain sales or products or you know something like that but just make sure that it's fair and good for both of you um, I know there are some options out there. I think Upworks is one of them. There's a couple other options. Upworks may not be the administrative assistant platform, but there's a, a, a several platforms where you can hire a virtual assistant or a VA. And a lot of times uh, those folks are, that, well, you can choose. Some are from other countries where you would get a lot more hours for a lower price, or you can hire someone local. Um, I prefer the local route because, first of all, I, I like interacting face-to-face -face when we can. Um, I did know Janice for a couple of years before I decided to hire someone to help me out in my business. And um, she goes with me to network meetings, she attends local events with me, helps me with the sales in the back of the room, and just meeting people and getting the name out there for our brand. So you just really want to think about what's your end game when you hire your virtual assistant or you just you know you hire someone to help you with some of the work that you're doing and what is it that you really really want them to do uh, before i hired janice i sat down and thought about all of the things that i do in a day and i put them into two buckets so one bucket is you know this requires me uh, the speaking engagements writing the powerpoint decks creating the guides those things require me the things that didn't require me were things like, you know, you can get help with social media, you can get help with um, outreach, with proposals, with making phone calls, with answering questions from your website. Um, one of the things that Janice does, and she's amazing at it, is she creates our quarterly newsletter, or it's it's, it's quarterly magazine. It's called Sparkle and Rise, and um, it's it's amazing like she is so creative so that is the other thing that you want to look for is someone that has skills that you don't have um, so Janice is amazing at being creative she thinks differently than I do we have fabulous planning sessions which we're getting ready to have today so once a, a month we do meet in person for an hour and a half two hours and we take a look at the things we have coming up start talking about what we really want to accomplish for the month and then we do a divide and conquer so the other thing that having a, an assistant will do for you is it gives you someone to bounce ideas off of because it gets kind of lonely especially when you're a solopreneur uh, and i think for me it was really important to find someone who really fit in with my brand who believed in the mission someone who i trust and you know you can teach them the other skills so even if they've never been a virtual assistant before uh, which a janice had been but if they haven't that's okay because you can teach them the things that they need to know to help you with your business and i think just the last thing is be patient with yourself um, you know really getting them onboarded is a hard process because I'll bet that you just kind of naturally go in and do the things you do and you don't even think about it anymore. Well, when you hire someone, you've really got to teach them the processes and the thinking that you go through to make decisions. And, and that 
it's a little bit more complicated than it feels like when you're in the moment of doing it. Uh, one thing that I did do that was super helpful is as I was onboarding Janice, I created some job aids for the first couple of uh, things that I was going to hand over to her. So as I was actually doing them, the next time I got out a Word document and documented exactly how I did them. I included some screenshots and she used those in the beginning to you know, help her get through the work that she was doing. And then before long, she's just like me, right? She doesn't need the, the job aids anymore because she's got her own process and knows how to, to get that work done. So if you're feeling just really stretched and overwhelmed, think creatively about how you could get some help. And it doesn't have to be, you know, a 40 hour a week employee. In fact, sometimes it's better to start out small. Like I said, um, Janice has been with me for about a year and she does about 40 hours a week. Some, or I'm sorry, a month. Sometimes a little bit more, just depending on what we've got going on. Uh, and it works out amazing. The 40 hours a month that she spends working is probably equal to about 60 hours of my time because she's doing things that I'm not good at or things that uh, I just haven't developed skills in yet. And so that really takes a load off. And if you think about it, if someone came to you and said, hey, I'm gonna give you 60 more hours this month that don't take away from your family time that you can now use to go and do the things that require you to get done, imagine how quickly your business could grow. So that's my thought for the day is I am so grateful that I have Janice. Thank you, Janice. And if you're struggling with getting everything done in your day, think about creative ways that you could bring someone on board to help you. Have a great day, a great weekend ahead, and I will talk to you tomorrow.